no one, no dictator, no regime, and no nation should underestimate ever American resolve. Every once in a while in the past, they underestimated us. It was not pleasant for them, was it? It was not pleasant. President Trump with the troops in Japan this morning, the start of his longest foreign trip yet, the threat from North Korea front and center, and our chief White House correspondent John Carl will be with the president at every stop. Good morning, John. Good morning, George. It is an ambitious and high stakes trip. The president will be in Asia for nearly two full weeks. Of course, the threat posed by North Korea is issue number one. The trip begins here in Japan, America's closest ally in the region. And the president seems to have a genuinely warm relationship with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. The two men met here in Tokyo at Japan's most celebrated golf course. The president was presented by uh, Shinzo Abe with custom-made hats that read, Donald and Shinzo make alliance even greater. The two then played a round of golf. They were joined by Japan's top professional golfer. Next up, the president heads to South Korea, followed by China, and then summit meetings in Vietnam and in the Philippines. In Vietnam, the president says he expects to meet on the sidelines of the summit with Vladimir Putin. Asked about that meeting on Air Force One, the president said, quote, we want Putin's help on North Korea. That will be a big meeting, but probably the centerpiece of this trip, that meeting with President Xi of China. No question about it. That is the key relationship here, both in terms of isolating and pressuring North Korea and in terms of the trade issues the president has on his mind. Uh, and she comes into the meeting uh, having expanded his control over the Chinese government, becoming uh, solidified as the most powerful leader, ruler of China in at least a generation. The president was asked about that also on Air Force One, and he said that he too is coming into this as a position, at a position of strength. He pointed to the stock market success, to the low unemployment rate, and then he had this to say about the stock market, quote, the reason our stock market is so successful is because of me. I've always been great with money. I've always been great with jobs. That's what I do. George? Not a shy president, John Carl. Thanks very much.